Make sure to pick up your Toronto Tyrantrum shirts and hoodies. Link is in the description down below. What's going on, everyone? Sinek Fiaz, aka Sinek, aka Sinks, aka the thing you watch your hands in, and I am your coach for the Toronto Rantrums. This is week two, folks, of the UBL D League, and this week we are taking on someone that we have played against in the PGLNU, actually. The, um, I don't know why I'm drawing such a blank on his name. The Blazing Squid and the Toronto Toto Dials. Okay, we're facing off against the other Toronto team once again. Um, if you guys are excited, smash the like button down below. I'll make sure to leave a link to the Blazing Squiz channel in the description down below as well. Um, so definitely go check him out, show him some sub love. But this is what we're going to be bringing. Okay. So first up, we are bringing Sun, the Mega Altaria. Okay. This week I decided to go with a, a more physical set. It's like it's like a physical-ish bulky set, I guess, to an extent. Um, So the plan for this is we're going to be rocking Rue so that way we can get our little Heelys up. Uh, we're gonna be rocking Dragon Dance, that way we can get a plus one speed. Um, I try to outspeed a bunch of the stuff that that he could bring. Like, um, I don't think a plus one will be able to outspeed a, a Tornado Therian, but I think it should outspeed a, a good chunk of the rest. Maybe Zygarde 10%, but that's really iffy. Um, but either way, the plus one Dragon Dance will really help us out a lot. We're going with Double Edge, because if you don't know what, what Pixel Eight does, it turns normal moves into fairy moves. So that means Double Edge will be Stab, and along with the plus one, he will hit hard. Or she, I guess. She will hit hard. Um, and then we're also bringing Con Guard, so that way we can increase our defenses at least a little bit. Because if he does end up bringing um, Amon, it'd probably be like Bisharp with a Steel move, or uh, Zygarde with any any physical move it has um pretty much our only threats against this thing would be more on the physical side i would think um he has lorantis slow king i don't see much of an issue with um unless he brings dazzling gleam on it i don't know i feel like it has dazzling gleam i'm not too sure oh and my nine tails could be an issue as well because it is ice as well as um fairy but i think we could deal with that if we manage to get the plus one we could just double legend into the next dimension um as you can tell, we don't have a dragon move on this set, but that's honestly okay. Well, I mean, we have dragon dance, but I'm talking about more on the offensive side, but that's okay. We should be okay. Our plan is to get is to get swole AF with this Mega Altaria and then just start hitting. That's pretty much about it for this for this set. The uh, double edge will be really good against the um, it'll be neutral against the Bisharp, I believe. Um, it would be super effective against the Zygarde and the I think it's neutral against the Me the Megazard, because because he has Megazard X, which is Dragon and Fire. I believe Fire resists. I believe if I remember correctly, um, or if he brings a um, or if he brings like a Dragon Silvali, for example. I don't know why he would even think to bring that. He might bring a Steel Silvali, which makes me a little bit nervous. But I th I think we I think we can manage to deal with it. I think we can deal with it. Um, and then next up we're bringing Magataka. Um, yes, that's a little play on on MAGA. And don't worry, it's just a goddamn joke. Don't take it too seriously. Um, but anyways, we are bringing Stealth Rocks with this set. We're bringing our Iron Head, Stone Edge, as well as Autotomize. If you guys don't know what Aut Autotomize does. It pretty much makes it makes me a bit a bit more light and increases my speed by two. Um, obviously, with that, we wouldn't really be outspeeding a whole heck of a lot anyways. Um, but, but honestly, that... That, that, a lot of words, holy crap, that'll be okay. Actually, better idea. We're running Trick Room, baby. We got Trick Room on this thing now. Um, so, so the financial plan is, we got Stealth Rock, we got Trick Room, because I noticed that, that he does have a lot of mods that will outspeed most like most of what I have. Like, Therian will outspeed everything I got. Um, Zygarde 10% probably will. Um, Elvantula might, Main Shao might. Pretty much anything with at least base 100 could outspeed me, like Megazard, for example. That very well could outspeed me, especially if it gets a Dragon Dance up. Um, let's see. So I figured I might as well run Trick Room, because if we can get the Trick Room up, Zack Attacker will be hitting everything like a son of a bitch. Um, that's pretty much the plan with him. Um, we have Iron Head, of course, for Stab, and Stone Edge is also for Stab. 
both of them will, will hit really hard. Uh, Iron Head and Stone Edge will, will hit the Tornado Theory in like a truck. Um, Alone and Ninetales, it'll most likely have a Sash, so I could Iron Head it, make it drop it down to one color a day. Um, I don't think I don't think I have anything super effective against the Bisharp or the Dawn Fan. Um, Galvantula probably won't like most of what I throw at it. Uh, Main Shao could be is a huge threat against this stack attack because it's because it can hit really hard against me and that's and that makes me a little bit nervous. But like we we have really good defenses, so we should be okay anyways. Um, Slow King's water moves could also be a giant issue for me, so I might have to watch out for that. Um, Zygar 10%, the ground moves will hurt. Um, pretty much, Stack Attack, he's just going to try to be a wall. But you know what? It might not work that well. But you know what? We're going to give him a shot because I've personally never used Stack Attack in um, a draft format. I have used them in VGC in um, 2017, I think, when Ultra Sound Moon came out. So we have that. Um, that's really about it. We have 252 in HP and attack, 4 into this Bedef, so that way we could be, a, like, relatively bulky. Um, and then next up we got Umu, our Mew. Um, holding on to the Fighting of Z, by the way. Um, we're gonna be running a, um, a more physical set here. We're running the Bulky Sweeper, but we are gonna be doing Brave instead. Actually, side note, I should be running the Admin. I should be running Brave. There we go. Let's, let's be as slow as we can, um, because we might as well make them slow and then trick room call her a day. Um, but, but on the set, we're running the Fighting MZ, mainly because if we manage to get a Z bulk up up, that, that gives us plus two attack and plus one defense, making us like, it, letting us be able to eat another hit as well as giving us a plus two, um, which will make our drain punches hit even harder. But, but if I don't feel that we have a chance to really bulk up, we can just straight up Z drain punch and do our whatever, whatever the Z move is called. I can't remember off the top of my head. Humbling something, I guess. Um, but we are also going to be bringing Explosion just as uh, our our big red button, hit that button, explode, call it a day. If I manage to get a bulk up with that, boy, I will hit really hard. Um, we're also running Trick Room on this just in case if there's no good optimizing when uh, Stack Attacker could get its Trick Room up. So I figured we might as well, we, words, we might as well bring Trick Room on this. Um, just that way we, we could try to give it a shot. Um, and the main reason we're going with Brave on this is just in case if realistically Megazard comes out. Because like, there's only like a handful of things that will... That'll end up outspeeding. Like, I don't think a Lorantis will outspeed unless it's scarfed. Um, Fish Sharp, I don't think. Well, I mean, it might. Um, I'm not exactly too sure how that'll work. Um, cause like, I want like a bit of speed, but not like, but not like my, but not like a neutral speed. Um, so like, a lot of his team will outspeed me. The only things that won't would be a Dawn Fan, um, Slow King, Lorantis, and maybe Fish Sharp. But those are like really the only things that 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 won't outspeed so i am gonna have to watch out i'm gonna have to keep in a close eye on my hp as well if i wanted to click explosion but if i get that trick room up boy we will be we will be killing it here folks um and then next up we're bringing roman of course with our intimidate rocking the av to pretty much literally the exact same as uh umu but instead we're running admin on it because we're, we're not wanting everything to be slow so we're gonna try and mix it up here a little bit. We're going with fake out one because it's priority. Two because he doesn't have anything that would not be able to that that would um that it wouldn't do damage to. Because I believe he doesn't have a ghost type on his team unless he runs Silvali Ghost, which would be really weird. I don't think I've ever seen one. Um, and we also got knockoff of course for stab along with flare blitz, and we we, we might as well bring leech life. Because it changes things up a little bit, it gives us a, a a little bit of a bug move. Uh, bug, it'll be able to deal with the, the Lorances, but why wouldn't I just click Flare Blitz against that? Um, yeah, that like honestly, that's pretty. Actually, Leech Life will be pretty good against the Main Shadow and Slow King, I think. Uh, but I also have Knockoff. It's like, eh. like like everything Incineroar does. It's like, 
the other moves it gets wouldn't really compare, but I'm like, we need something to at least get some HP back. Um, so, so that's essentially the plan there. We, we're going to be bulky. We're going to try to hit hard. Uh, of course, we have our good old Intimidates. Um, yeah, that's really about it for Roman. Um, next up, we have Shandana, our Shaman. First time bringing it. Actually, I think most of these wands is the first time bringing it. I think I brought Umu and Laundry once before. I think that was it. I don't think we have anyone else here. Yeah. Oh, and, and Incineroar. Incineroar, Laundry, and Umu are the only ones that, that were there before. That, that have been played so far. Um, so for Shaman, we're gonna be running a um a, spe a special set on it. I figured we might as well bring a Roma Therapy just in case if he tries to bring any sort of shenanigans on us. Um, and then we're bringing Hidden Power Rock. That's only because I'm scared of the Tornado Therian. Um, cause that thing with, um, it's flying moves will hurt. Um, and I just figured it, it'll be it'll be like a solid neutral against most of everything else that he brings out. Uh, it'll be super effective against the Zardex as well. So, so that'll be good for us. Um, I figured we might as well bring Mega Drain to try to get some HP back, along with Air Slash, and maybe try to get some um, get some flinches if we can. Um, it'll be it'll be really good against the uh, Galvantula, the Main Shao, I believe, uh, the Lorantis. Overall, air slash will be a, a pretty solid move for us to click, except for its accuracy. Its accuracy is like, was it like 90 or something like that? 95. Knowing me, I will miss. I will miss at least once during this game. I can promise you. Um, yeah, we we, figured we might as well go, well, like go go with a bulky special sweeper set. So four into the spadef, 252 HP, 252 special attack. Going with the modest, so that way we can try to hit as hard as we can. Um, that's really about it for him. Next up, we have laundry. I wrote and wash. Uh, he's he's gonna be holding on to the leftovers. Uh, figure we, we might as well bring him to to stop any ground moves like like an earthquake from a dawn fan, for example. Or actually, his high guards move will still hit, which will suck, but we can deal with it. Figure we, we might as well bring stab hydro pump uh, along with volt switch for stab purposes. Uh, we got defog as well in case rocks do get set up. Um, and then we're also gonna be rocking out with the hidden power of fire. Because Hidden Power Fire will be able to deal damage to the Alolan Ninetales, it can deal with the Bisharp, deal with the Galvantula. Overall, Fire moves in this case could be relatively solid. It could also deal with the Lorantis, which would be super effective against us because of its uh, Grass Typing. So I figured, once again, Bulky Sweeper set. Exact same EVs as uh, Shanana. But, that's going to be it for our team builder today. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are hyped for this battle smash the like button down below if you guys are new here hit the subscribe button the bell so if i whenever a video goes up or that no i'm going to head on out here and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye